What's going on, guys? Other than playing that game, The Messenger, this is pretty much what I did this weekend. I whipped my phone out and pretty much recorded everything I did at least one day this weekend. So this is how you catch a chipmunk. This is the only way that I've ever done that ever worked to catch a chipmunk. I've tried to catch them a few different ways. And, you know, where I'm originally from, you know, I've heard of chipmunks. I knew Alvin and the chipmunks, right? Um, but, you know, where I'm at now, there's there's chipmunks. And maybe they were out when I was a kid. I don't know. I didn't notice them. But, I mean, I guess they're just kind of like squirrels, except they're a little bit smaller. Um, I caught it for fun last time. So there's this chipmunk, and every now and then I see like a little figure run into the storm drain. I mean, there's not many, but too many things it could be. So it happens to be a chipmunk. So I tried to wrap a bag around there the first time. It didn't work. I think the chipmunk is starting to get smart, and he's trying to... I mean, I've caught him before, assuming it's the same chipmunk. I mean, it might be a different one, you know. I don't know. They all, all look the same to me. <laughs> They do. Um, so now I have my girlfriend's butterfly net. She likes to catch butterflies and nail them. It's pretty cool what she does with them, like beetles and stuff like that. You know, you know what I'm talking about? There's like dioramas with the insects in there. My girlfriend, she makes those, or she's making one. Um, it's coming along pretty well. So anyway, so we got the net. The water goes through the net, thus leaving the chipmunk in the net by itself. And I got to kind of hurry up and get him out of there because he's going to bite through the net. He's got a couple of spots, actually, that he tore through the net a little bit. Um, so I do have to sew that up. So I am going to wait for my woman to get home. I'm going to put this little sucker in a box. I'm going to send my kid in the house to find a box somewhere, put this in the box, and surprise my woman with this thing uh, when she gets home. Um, it's weird. You know, usually, usually... She's home from work or wherever, you know, way before me. It's kind of weird, me being at the house, <laughs> waiting for her to get back. Look at that little guy. Isn't he cute? I've seen videos on YouTube of people having these things as pets. Um, like deer, that's another thing I hear. We got deer. And it's funny, deer, that's an animal. There's two animals, duck and deer. Those two animals I think are really cool as pets. And I also think they're really good eating because I love eating duck and I love eating deer. So anyway, here's the box. We're going we're gonna to free this little guy. Um, you know, he's probably, we threw a donut in there. <laughs> we threw a piece of bread in there. He, you know, I didn't torture him or anything. He was only in there for like, you know, 20 minutes before she came home. Um, but, uh, you know, as soon as I walked up to her with the box, you know what she said? She was like, what, you got a chipmunk in there? And I was like, God, how'd you know? You know, I never, I didn't text you or tell you nothing about no chipmunk. And she was like, I didn't know you. So, um, there he is. I don't know if you guys can see him. See him? You can see him. Yeah. Sorry, it's not brighter, but, uh, you know, there he is. There's, there's piss all over the bottom of that thing. Yeah, poor little guy. I kind of feel bad for trapping him in the box, but look, he, look, he didn't touch the donut or the piece of bread. I tried to hook him up. Anyway, he, uh, he doesn't run out because we're standing in front of the box, but watch, he jumps out of here and it's, there he goes, gone. Anyway, let's check out this cave that I found. I didn't really find this cave in the woods. This is a cave in the woods that my woman, you know, she looks online. And, you know, anyway, we found this cave. It's, you know, not too far from uh, where we live. But you're actually going to see. And I didn't go very far inside the cave. Um, there was another group of people in the cave. Apparently, from the map that I saw online, the dam, the cave goes in there pretty far. And this isn't Luray Caverns, although I have been there. But there are a few different caves in this area. Um I, oh god! One time I ripped one of them stalagmites out of a cave. Uh, I know, I know that's horrible. That's like uh, I shouldn't even admit to that, but you know I usually don't do things like that. But you know it was, it was a few years ago I ripped a stalactite. It's like in a state park or whatever. Uh, <laughs> don't hate me. But uh, this is a different kind of cave. This is a tectonic cave. So I guess this is the difference is is this doesn't have stalactites and stalagmites. This is a cave that's formed when two tectonic plates shift and it shifts all the rocks and the sediment in the ground, you know, thus creating an uh, like a um, an opening or you know a space because of the plate shifting. And this is just evidence of plate shifting, you know, however long ago, long before I was born. Um, and it's weird these caves like this. I'm always so scared. That, and I haven't been in a ton of these. I've probably been in like maybe 10 in this area. But um, it's like, what if them damn plates start to shift again, you know, while I'm in here? You know, it shifted once like, you know, what, 80 million years ago or whatever. And it's probably due for another time for another sh uh, shifting, right? So, uh, God, this is like the Blair Witch Project kind of thing. But, you know, you can see there's no stalactites, stalagmites. There's just, um, now there's a map online. This is the Wind Cave. You can look it up online. It's a place in Pennsylvania called like Peak 
like P E Q E U A or something, Pennsylvania. And it's called the wind cave. And it's weird. There's different openings of this cave, like outside of it, They're, like not big enough to fit your body through, but you can feel the cold air coming through this cave. And, um, it made me think like, damn, right outside this cave would be a pretty cool idea for a campsite because you, you know, if it's really hot, you don't even need air conditioning. I'm assuming it stays cool year round. Cause I've been to caves where it was like 80 degrees outside and like deep inside the cave, there's a couple of them that I've been in where you like, you want to put a jacket on, um, you know, it's crazy. And there's like stories of things that happen in some of the caves around here, but it's at this point, um, my kid, he, uh, he finds out there's another group of people in the cave. And, uh, we were just talking about, you know, what if a, a serial killer or somebody was hiding inside of the cave, like, you know, just waiting for somebody. Cause you know, people obviously come in here, people know about it. Um, and that freaked, freaked us out. But look at that sediment. Um, and the rock there, pretty cool stuff. Anyways, guys, that's how I catch a chipmunk or how I guess you could catch a chipmunk if you try. And uh, cool to cave in my area. And you know, I thought you guys would find this stuff interesting because I thought it was pretty interesting. It's a pretty eventful weekend for me. Anyways, guys, till next time. Peace out. Turn around. Get the fuck out of here. Bye. Bye, Mom.